person did that they thought was going to keep you down, Pisces, not up, not working because you are a star. And even though that card didn't appear, it keeps popping up in today's readings. Know your worth and you will attract what it is that you deserve. So sometimes that's going to mean leaving those things, people, places behind. Welcome, my beautiful Pisces, to your love tarot reading. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. And for those who are new, bienvenue, welcome. I am Black Bunny Tarot, aka Namaste with Lei. And I'm very much looking forward to diving into these messages from spirit to you today. So what I ask of you as I begin to shuffle the deck, is just get really clear with the universe about the messages or clarity that you're wishing to receive in today's love reading. Of course, please do remember that this is a general love reading. I do not expect all messages to resonate with you. And if they do not resonate whatsoever, that's okay. Um, but I do urge you to check your moon and rising signs to see if those videos may better resonate. And it would not be right to not first. <sighs> Tap that heart chakra frequency to commence your love tarot reading. Spirit, please show my Pisces what it is that they need to see. What messages or guidance can you offer from my lovely water signs? All right. We're going to take two more from the top, two more from the bottom. Whew. Okay, lots going on here, Pisces. A big change since last week. So take these flyouts. <clears throat> Money is on your mind. Oof, 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 oof. Money is on your mind. Okay. Okay, so first in your energy, we have the three of swords. This is depicting heartbreak, betrayal, pain, this may be in your recent past. This may be in the, in the present. I try to focus on the present, but please remember that time is fluid. Somebody took you for granted, and I get the sense that you chucked the deuces up and you left, Pisces. If you haven't yet, you're really contemplating how to make this escape. And I said that in someone's reading last week. I don't think it was yours, but you know, people are coming into this more evolved versions of themselves and they're just simply leaving what is no longer serving them. The eclipse from two weeks ago when we had the full moon to now the solar eclipse tomorrow. So we had lunar eclipse, now solar eclipse. It's time to release the things no longer serving you. Next in your energy, a major arcana here with the wheel of fortune. Okay, the wheel of fortune, it came out upright. So things are, when you spin this wheel, it's going to work out in your favor. Uh, for some of you, this may be the lottery or an inheritance. And for others, this may just be your hard work finally paying off and bearing fruit. And I say this because the next two cards in your energy are the pentacles. First, the five of pentacles, which is kind of this unbalanced energy of I'm working towards it, but I'm not quite there yet, okay? The five is very guarded. That could be due to this recent or past heartbreak and betrayal. Maybe this was in business. Maybe this person took you to court and took a lot of your money, but things are going to be rebuilding for you because right after the five of pentacles, you double that, that um, you double the coins to the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever this person did that they thought was gonna keep you down, Pisces, not up, not working because you are a star. And even though that card didn't appear, it keeps popping up in today's readings. Know your worth and you will attract what it is that you deserve. So sometimes that's gonna mean leaving those things, people, places behind. 
And then this bottom energy, I can tell you've done the work because you have the Ace of Wands. This has been a really popular card. The power of manifestation is at your side. So speak it into the universe. If you haven't already affirmed in the comments below what it is you wish to receive with this new moon, go ahead, let the universe know now because it's going to be yours. It's also going to matter that you get clear and you differentiate between what you want and desire and what you need and what's gonna benefit your highest good. Okay, Pisces? But this Ace of Wands, this is, see some of you are hunting, deer hunting. Some of you are dealing with a Connor, someone named Connor. Beware of creating unrealistic expectations in how other people perceive you, Pisces. You can only do what you can do, but you cannot control how others perceive you. Keep being great, okay? And then that moves you into the Ace of Pentacles. Do you see this transformation, Pisces? You go from the five, you go from heartbreak to the Wheel of Fortune to trying to rebuild shakily, to doubling your income, to the Ace of Wands, power of manifestation, to the Ace of Pentacles. You have the universe's blessing in whatever it is you would like to do at this time, whether it be a person that you'd like to do at this time, or start a new business, or go back to school, or get creative with your hands, start a YouTube channel, whatever it is, no procrastination, just go right towards it, Pisces. And then lastly in your energy here, we had the Knight of Swords. This Knight's been making an appearance quite a bit lately as well. This is someone who's going to catch you off guard with an offer or someone who's coming in to try and save you from a certain situation or trying to take you from a certain person. And I always say this with the Knight. The Knight is a beautiful energy. They're grounded, they're stable. What they, what they say is what you're going to get with them. The question is, is the night going to be there after they've saved the day? Or is, is their quality just coming in to save people? And that's what they're meant to do, not necessarily for a long-term partnership. So let's end here with a beautiful message from one of my favorite decks, the Lover's Oracle deck. If you're ever interested in any of the decks I use, I always link those below in the description box, as well as ways to donate to the channel. If you're ever inclined, there's absolutely no pressure. I also have just uploaded new content to my Patreon, which you can sign up for as low as $3.33 a month. And I use these other beautiful spiritual journey decks on that site, which you don't really see here on YouTube. All right, to visualize your person, Spirit, please show my beautiful Pisces what it is that they need to see. All right, the same card. I love this. Okay, so here is the depiction on the front. And on the back, it reads, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. I like when this card pops out. Someone's got a steamy, it may be the sex that's keeping you with this person. I'm not even going to hold you up, but it's not worth this betrayal and heartbreak. It's really not, Pisces. I know you know that. I'm not here to judge you. But I do hope that these messages found you well. Please let me know in the comments if this video resonated with you. Until next time, I am sending you so much love, light, and reciprocity. Namaste.